Welcome to another episode of Diva Court. I'm your host, Marcia Mignot, and with me is my co-diva. Hey, y'all. The lady in yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Lady in yellow. Look, listeners, I can't speak. I'm carrying the church lady vibes today, so hopefully I won't be giving you any of the church announcements until the end of the show. <laughs> until the end of the show. Because this show is for edutainment purposes only. Now, we're going to come out the blocks with the athletes across America, African-American athletes, listeners is what we're talking about, are starting to speak out about mental health. But before we go there, find us on Spotify. Spotify. Apple Podcasts. Apple. And Google Podcasts. Google. Look for our videos every Wednesday when we push them out on YouTube for you. And hopefully you can tell us what color you like. Because I don't like this one. <laughs> well, just fake it till you make it, honey. I look like Sunflower and the church lady Sunflower. And I am Sunshine. Oh, Lord. Such a hater. Yeah, I, I, I can't take it. <laughs> All right, listeners, African-American athletes across the United States have decided now is the time to talk about mental health. We have a New York Jets football player, Mr. Solomon Thomas. Mr. Carl Anthony Towns from the Timberwolves in the NBA and Miss Anna Cockrell, one track star. She got beat by Jamaican, though. You do know that, right? <laughs> okay. They are saying that in the African-American community, well, wait, what there's was your, a stigma. What was your point of saying that? I was just talking about winners and losers. <laughs> why Why do you have to say she got beat by a Jamaican? I, I just threw that in there. Oh, okay. I, I I'm saw, just trying to figure out what this, What do you I, mean by that? I, it just, the picture of the video of her at track and field just came up and I just saw her not winning. But what do you mean by that? You uh, think the, you think the country, you think the country got her together? Like, what do you say? You think the actual boundaries and and like is the is the is the land is it the land the nutrients in the land how about feeding it, it, the vegetables or it something might be to the make yellow it? yams is that what it is <laughs> <laughs> since we're in yellow right right what is it like kudos you to say the yellow in Jamaica like did Jamaica kudos to the yellow yam well, okay. okay or was it the genetics that she had, or was it the fact that what 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 are you saying? It's this. It's the. Is it the soil? water? It's in the Jamaica? soil. How about the it's soil? The soil? Oh, it's okay. the soil. Maybe right. it's the soil. So it's the land. They they said it was the yellow yams. Okay. So we got to boil some yellow yams and eat them. Start getting faster. If you want to be fast, All okay. Right. But they are correct. I do agree with them, Diva. That uh, according to the numbers, the stigma in the black community is mental health is not health because it makes you look weak. Oh, why are you rolling your eyes? Because you look like you agree with what I just said. Because <laughs> I do. <laughs> Listen, my take on this, I do support, you know, mental health. Yay. We have to. Diva we Court does. Mental it's health. real. But it is to the extreme. It's getting to the place that it gives victim. Okay? It gives victim. I've run across many people who I need to take a mental health day. I need to take a mental health. Oh my gosh, I almost got into a car accident. I need to take a mental health day. Oh, I broke a nail. I need to take a mental health day. Oh, you know, it's like So it's overused. It's just overused. Okay. And isn't that all uh, about America, life? Don't America, people we, don't people call in sick when they're not sick? In America. But it don't mean you don't have a heart that might no, be stopping. This is, this is the thing. People call in sick when they weren't sick. And then they did it too often, they get fired. Now, you just say mental health, and now you can't get fired. Oh, no, ma'am. Don't try that at home. <laughs> you can't get fired. You go to school, they you got to tiptoe around you. I know. They got to oh, tip, they better tiptoe tip, around tip, you. Tip, Haven't tip. you seen these you school shootings? Have, I know, right? You ain't even got to have. I'm just going, that's my new title. When I don't want to do something, mental health. I, my husband, he be like, I just need my safe space. I said, shut up. With safe that. space. I don't want to hear nothing about no oh. safe space. It's so weak. What if he does need safe space away from you? Well, then he need to go somewhere. Don't say them words. Because uh, it's so easy. What if he goes to somebody weak. else's house and say it? Don't let the clean up. He better woman. not go to nobody's house. Oh, okay. <laughs> you better go to that garage. What, what if he goes to the cleanup woman like, and say, hey, 
Honey, I'm I am so for, sorry. Uh-uh. Betty no, no, told no, me to come on over. I ain't trying to And I have a safe space. I'm for, I am for taking deep breaths. I'm for, you know, meditation. I'm for praying. I'm for all that. Like, I'm for all that. But the words is giving weak. Like, stop. You know why? Because you've been inoculated by the overuse of the word. But I think we don't use it enough in certain communities. We don't need to. We don't need to go on TV and open up this can of worms. Like, have these conversations in the safety of your own home. That we already. It's so many things attacking us, and you just. Here's another. Here's a weakness of mine. Here you go. So, the, so the 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 conversation is real. Then you are one of the individuals that subscribe to. It makes Take care you of weak me. if you're mentally. No, if I'm you not, need mental health, no, no, you're no. Weak. What I'm saying is, stop sh- shop. If you're playing poker, don't show nobody your hand. Like if you. So you gotta hide it. Why no, wouldn't you say to other people? Handle it, but you ain't got to tell everybody about why it. Why don't you tell somebody? What if you sharing your mental health struggles with somebody stops them from committing suicide? <laughs> it could be your family member. Because, you know, when people hold things in, you don't know what they're thinking. I'm not saying to hold Think it in. Think about Anthony Bourdain. No, 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 Remember no, no. him? I was shocked to I, kill himself. Listen. Think about Twitch. Twitch is another artist well, <laughs> that's a dancer. I'm, he killed I'm himself. I'm trying not to get canceled, so I don't want to I don't want to respond to these things. I'm saying what I'm saying is in your family, you have those conversations. You talk about it. You 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 discuss it. Make that priority. But don't reveal it. I think you should reveal no, it. No, you shouldn't. They I, always I think I don't I don't think you should just tell everything. I'm not saying you come That's out. That's what and say, they did on GMA. No, they didn't tell everything. They, they told everything. No, they didn't. They just spoke in, in they came out on Good Morning America and they spoke globally, in my yeah. opinion. They didn't tell me anything specific. They just said I was struggling. I talked to somebody and they were like, Let's call your therapist. They didn't share what was said in the therapy session. And let's be honest, it's it is a weakness. Like it is not a weakness. It is a weakness. No. It is no different from saying, hey, I got this leg pain. I'm going go to go to the doctor That's a weakness. to see it's what's a going on with my leg. It's a mental weakness. No, it's not. It, it doesn't have to be. Just because weakness is next to it, like if I'm sitting down and my leg is folded a certain way and the blood is not connecting through for all the way from the foot to the thigh area and I get up, I have a weakness, I might fall over. It, it's still a weakness. It doesn't. What I'm saying is stop, don't reveal your weakness to the world. You know what I'm saying? If you're not feeling well mentally, you could just say, I need a break. You know, I'm taking a break. I'm, on, I'm going so on So take a break, but don't say the word, I'm taking a break for you mental health reasons. Everybody don't need to, nobody needs to know your but weakness. But I think they the are reason people us. are they sharing are it. They are coming for us no, they, all the time. They came for you when you and were in the cotton field, ma'am. All the time, okay? <laughs> They comment. They don't. You don't need to share it's, your weakness with it's those in who the can take you out. Where they came for you, I, they I, have stopped. Keep that coming same for energy you. when we talk about Beyonce. They've stopped coming keep for that you same energy. in the cotton field. Keep that same energy. I when we think talk about it's Beyonce. important for people to share because I think sometimes share with who your experiences with who with people. If you're a public figure, remember there are public no. figures. These are public figures. These are not private individuals. No. These are public figures. They have asked for the fame and fortune that goes with the job. They do. They don't have to do that job. They could go quietly digging ditches around town that nobody knows their name and nobody's ever heard of them. So what they wanted to say was, although we are famous, although we are rich. What does fame have to do with your No, here's what the man is trying to explain. One of the, the individuals that was a guest, he was trying to explain that people think that we're one of the most have it together people. And we're trying to show you Nobody that we have that. bad days. And we, yeah, they do. People idolize these people. They think they don't have a bad day. They are that, dumb. That they don't get down because money solves everything. And if, as long as you have a certain amount of money in Tell the bank. Tell that to those people who jumped off the building uh, <laughs> with the Enron. That's the point the man wanted to make. Is that not because you have a certain amount of money in the bank or that you're at a social economic level does not mean you're not affected. Your psyche is not affected by life experiences. You and that it's you're okay. Playing, you're playing comp- You're in a competitive sport, right? I am not saying don't address your mental health. I'm saying even, even in families, address it. If there's issues, talk it through. Get counseling. Get these things. Get all of these things you need to make sure that your mental health is fortified. Just like you got to work your brain. You got to work your body. You got to work it all out. I'm not saying you shouldn't address it, but 
You're in competitive sports. You're playing football. You're playing, you're running track. You are telling the competition a weakness of yours. If I have a, it's just like when they play football and they don't reveal the injury list until the last minute because you don't reveal the weakness. Now, you, if you got a mental, minute. right. Now you got to, so they won't prepare a plan against you when you're playing the sport. Now you got a mental health issue and then you, now you got to reveal that. Cause that's, is that an injury? You're you reveal revealing that? it because you are trying to help someone yeah. who and it now, might if I'm, say, if I'm a competitive, uh, if I'm a competitive what player, what can we be competing about? If I'm a competitive player, like let's say we are playing basketball and I'm playing on the women's basketball team and you revealed your mental health. Right. I'm in your, I'm in your, oh, like you, what you going to cry? What you going to do? It's, it's just to, it's my edge. And, and look, it's my because edge. of my you gonna therapy, cry? what you going to do? What because you going to do? Because of my therapy, oh, you got a therapist. I won't I'm punch, I won't punch I'm you in the face. <laughs> No, but what I'm saying is, is that I know that there's a weakness. The th- Are you no, tired? No, Are you stressed? No, what the you point doing? is, my therapist is what's going to keep me from knocking All you out I'm on the field. Is, is that Instead of this becoming a game, it's going to become a fight. Well, we don't want to change I, the basketball. Since I took you out the game then. We don't want to put but the basketball. But I took you out the game. If you didn't, if but you, you out the game with me. No, I'm not. Because yeah, you, you are you at the hospital. No. Because I pounced. No. You're not going to get me that quick. <laughs> I already know what I'm trying to do. I know what I'm trying to do, so my reflexes is already quick. I'm about to I'm about to sting you with oh, one, so maybe okay. you can attack me, and now you got a technical foul. I'm getting you out the game. I'm, all I'm saying is these are techniques for competitiveness. Okay. Do you remember, the, you remember the case we talked about here where the young autistic man was being charged for aggravated assault against a teacher who had taken his what? iPad? He, he's got mental health. That's not, that's so not the same she, thing. So she tried to take him out of his game. That's she not, went and that's said, not the same. give me that's the iPad. That's a false equivalency. Give me the iPad. That's a right? false See equivalency. See how that worked out for her? That's a false yeah, equivalency. Yeah, you don't want to play with mental health That's a false equivalency. That's I think treatment needs to be had. I think people need to speak up about it. I agree. I think not people stop to their, hiding. To their circle stop of people. Stop trying to make it weak. It's not about being weak. It is weak. weak. It's about getting help. It is weak. Because let me tell you what's weak. It's a weakness. What's weak, listeners, Even is the in, knees. In the Bible, no, it what's says when I'm weak. Father, you're strong. So when I'm having a weak moment, when I can't take anymore, when I can't put nothing on my back and carry it, Father, you're strong and oh, you carry okay. me. So it is a weakness. And it's, and what I'm saying is, is that it's okay to say that. Okay. But guess what? If you reveal it, somebody can use your weakness against you. Okay. So maybe not. don't reveal it to the competition. Share it with your family members. Share it with people that care about you. Don't reveal it to the competition. You, It's like even if you're in a corporate game, Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you, you in a corporate, you're in corporate and you're trying to, you're the, you're trying to get that CEO and you in competition with each other. And you know, it get, it get real catty. They can use everything against you. It's just like if you were running for president and you got mental health issues, they, the ops can use it against you. What I'm saying is, is keep it tight, keep it tight, get it taken care of and keep it tight. Don't reveal it to nobody. Don't show nobody so, your weakness. So let me tell you, um, who showed a weakness, the mother <laughs> of the school shooter, when they held her she responsible did. for her son's but, mental health. But not showing the for weakness. Not showing, for not showing the weakness and getting her son some help. Well, there's that. And let's, let me tell you something. She got a guilty listeners on all counts. I thought you said you, you thought you, she was going to slide by. I wanted her to slide, but I told you at the last show, yeah. I was concerned about the video yeah. of her taking him to the range. And the jurors have spoken, and they took eleven hours. That's not long. To try. That's a long That's time. Long. So okay. they had to be struggling. There had to be people who were struggling with her. What's the not- longest you had a jury in for? They'll they'll hang. They'll let them. They'll they'll hang. So the, what? The judges if you go past one okay, day. Okay. So the I- rule: judges will not let the jurors go longer than the case took to try. <laughs> so if it's a if it's a one week trial, then yeah. they can stay for one week. It's a one-week trial. Some judges will say, unless the jurors say, we hey, going. we had an impasse. We're we ready to go home. And most times they will do that after about two days. Okay. Um, I've had a case where day three, they were like, all right, we're done. And the reason is because they took a while. If the jury, jurors take a while to tell the judge we're at an impasse, the judge just lets them go. Mm-hmm. You, don't, you don't interfere with that process. As long as they're going, they're going. And when they send that note out that says, hey, we don't think we're going to get anywhere. Somebody in here is saying that they're not moving. Yeah. Then the judge will read the jurors what's called an Allen charge. And the Allen charge is a judge saying, hey, you don't have to compromise your position, but you do have to consider the other person's position. Mm-hmm. you got to remember the evidence, how you remember it, but you still have to not be so rigid that 
you won't change your position even when the evidence is there that your position it is wrong. Sounds like religion. So <laughs> <laughs> the evidence is presented to you, and you still hey, believe. If you still believe after that, <laughs> yeah. So the judges won't let you go if the jurors say, "Hey, I'm done." Then the judges will read the Allen charge, and then if the jurors send out another note, "Hey, we're really thanks for the note, but we're done." then the judge will release the jurors. So the longest I've had one is three days. But okay. my issue, though, is in this case, the concerns that the jurors had is the fact that she's taking him to the range mm -hmm. and she didn't share with the school when she was called to the school about the incident that the child had, they had given the child a gun as a gift like three days prior. That's where the like jurors... The mental health don't start three days I'm shooting somebody. It don't start like that. No, but the issue is I could see where she was trying to get help. And let me tell you something. Getting mental health care what did is you see? not what as did, easy. What did you see? So there was evidence with her corresponding with the school. And some of the correspondence with the school was, I need to get help, but I need to get time to get the help. So I'm going to reach out to such and such a person and I'll get back with you. What do y'all think? And they were let me go grab him this gun right quick. That's the problem, <laughs> though, is although those correspondents were going um, back and forth, they happen like days. It, it just ramped up real quick. And the issue, though, is that she was trying to get help. And because I know that the system, and when I say the system, I'm talking about the healthcare system, the the medical, um, the the even if she needs Where government the, assistance system, she ain't need no government assistance. Listen to me, we don't know that. What city? They're I not, know it for nah, sure. No, they're city, not. What they're Michigan, not wealthy. What what Michigan city? They're she not from? wealthy people. They're not wealthy. No, 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 no. They're not no, wealthy people. No, no, no. These no. are not rich people because rich people they would got, have had him committed and gone on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> they got insurance. They, no, no, no. They got health no. insurance. You can't. If you they can't, don't have health insurance. They have Medicaid. Yeah, but you got to remember that a lot of the health insurance limits mental health care. No. I, yes, they do. I used to work for a health insurance company. That I'm is telling true. you, they limit. That's because you work for Kaiser. They limit. <laughs> well, I don't know. Blue Cross Blue Shield they let limit, you go PPO. They limit PPO. how much you're going to get. They also give you like, oh, you'll, well, this will cover six sessions. And after the six sessions. But she had no sessions. No, my point And she bought is, him a gun three days before. Remember now. Well, now, wait, you. Well, then I had questions. Email, the emails, were they sent before or after the purchase of the gun? Some of them were sent before <laughs> and some of them were sent after. That's what I'm telling you. That's why I sympathize Guilty. with her. The issue I told you she was going to have is the issue she did have, which is why are you purchasing a weapon for this young man when there are signs that something is going on with him? Right. You? So the jurors are like, ah, I, I can't. So did, I so can't. Could, can you can you get involuntary manslaughter? That's what they got. No, what I'm asking you, could you get it from the evidence that you heard of? The, I, I I still couldn't go that far. I still couldn't. So go what that is far. involuntary? Here, here's what I the, the, what what I struggled with was the the negligence for her to be negligent, like she had to actually know. Their statute reads kind of funny, so she has to know that this is likely to happen. And I don't think the state proved her guilt beyond a reasonable doubt as it pertains to you knew it was going to happen. It was happen the, the day before, the next day. You understand what I'm saying? You Remember, what, it happened the same day. You know the shooting is? is the same day. You know what it is? It's, it's I'm tired of these kids shooting up these schools. That's what that was. The parents, they hold what, somebody accountable. Somebody got these yeah. parents. Is, she these was a parents. sacrificial lamb. She was a no, she's not no sacrifice. Yes, she lamb. was. Yes, she no, was. No, she's not. She, yeah, they sacrificed her. Because her ass ran to Detroit. No, no. She ran I to I found Detroit. out, based on the trial, uh -huh. that they left. They were getting threats. Like, I didn't even know that. And now I'm like, Marsha, come on now. We live in a society now where everybody threatens you. People who are supposed to be going about their business and letting the court system run its course are emailing you and sending you text messages and blowing up your phone. How you, you kill her, you this, you that. I mean, Wait. these people are... They were they were persons of interest and then they left. Well, tell me the okay. chain of events. So the Weren't shooting they occurs. Of or something? No, no, the shooting occurs. The investigation happens because remember they weren't part of the, the right. son's case initially. They start getting threats at the same time. Law enforcement is when investigating. In let's see what's happening. Let's get the emails. Let's do this. Let's do that. Before the state even decided to prosecute them or to for a warrant to drop. They were getting threats, and she's emailing correspondence to somebody, and she's like, what should I do? And the person's like, take down your Facebook, shut down your phone, <laughs> you know, change your number. You got you to go. These people will kill you. So the mob was coming for them, 
And based on the mob, she said the state turned it into we're running and we're not running. The mob is after us. So, of course, we're turning off our phones and we're doing things to try to make ourselves safe. That's real. I mean, if you've never been the victim right, I get that. I of get the internet that. bullying and people saying, no, I'm I, coming to get you. No, I just turned my phone off. Oh, right. But if you turned it off, that means. <laughs> oh, that you're bullying me on look, the internet? Turn the yeah, phone off. When you turned it they off. They had enough guns. When you they went to the gun off, range. When you they weren't prepared off, for this moment. When you turned your they phone off, they weren't prepared off, for this moment. You were running. <laughs> you you giving out guns to uh to your son. So so like you prepared I said, for this moment, right? Ain't this there, what you've been waiting there for? There are parents. You waiting for a mob to come because that's why you buying guns. There you are waiting for this moment. <laughs> that make decisions about bad parenting, and I don't agree that those parents should be criminalized. People are not given a book on how to parent. In fact, in my country. You would have to have an IQ test before you could have a baby. Your own personal country. <laughs> no, that I'm a bi country, and I'm gonna make it Marsha's country. Marsha's country. And to live on Marsha's country in Marsha's country, instead of you getting a visa or birth certificate before you have a baby, you're gonna have to have an IQ test. Dis- you're, gonna you're gonna have to do some cognitive. Yeah, you're gonna have to do some cognitive things. <laughs> but unfortunately, because anybody could have a baby, and uh, most people are not trained on how to parent and parenting styles differ and no one parenting style is perfect. I don't agree with it. She's the first case in the United States. So trust me, Maybe these you parents- better make sure you know what you're doing at yeah. your house because the prosecutors are now coming. Okay. You leave that pot of water on that stove and it's boiling and let that child that you if that w- child takes it to school and throws it on a kid, that's you, my you fault. You should be responsible. <laughs> okay? Responsible. You got to be responsible. Especially if I seen that she had a pot hey. and she throw water. Hey. On if, a picture. If you know she was throwing water <laughs> on her <laughs> sisters. <laughs> on, a, on her sisters and on a picture that you, she drew out. You were on notice. You was all up there. Okay. That's the thing. So if be you careful. On notice, if you want to open Pandora's box, you, remember now, you don't get to determine what notice is. The prosecutor does. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so watch yourself when you're so trying wait, to hold parents accountable. So the gun was in his bag when she left him at the school? Yes. Yes. And that's the problem, too, wait, is they, they said the, the school. Gun. No, the school did not search. They okay. found the gun after he shot everybody. Okay. <laughs> so that's my point. That's my point. There was too many people to be held accountable for this to be a parent situation. No, nah, it's a and, parent. You and, can't blame the school for And that. I honestly think the school, if the school had searched the bag, they would have, if the school had done a better job. How, how old was he? I can't remember. I know he was 13 or 14. You know what? School shootings don't ha- happen in the city of Detroit because we got metal detectives. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where, that's crazy. The metal detectives need to be out in the suburbs, not in the city. Uh, I mean, ma'am, in, maybe in the ma'am. city too. How about but, we just change society? Okay, and what's easier, teach, putting metal detectors or changing teach, society? How about we have responsible gun ownership? If your weapon kills somebody, matter of fact, I got a great idea. Oh, it just came to me, and the listeners don't steal it. If you have to purchase a gun, you have to purchase insurance. And oh, the I remember insurance you saying that. is going to cover anybody that that weapon harms. I think, I think that's, that's a important. good idea. We do it with cars. We do it with cars, and it's less likely that my car is going to run can over. Start you. a business for that. I think I might need to create an insurance. Let me go to the legislators and see if I can pass something that says, mm, you got, oh, I'm sorry. They're going to see it as I'm trying to take their gun. <laughs> I'm not trying to take your gun. I'm trying to make it safe here for people. Insure it. Insure it. These parents should be compensated for the loss of their children. If you want to buy that gun, you got to have it insured. You got to keep a policy on it. You may have mandatory car insurance. Mortgage companies won't finance your house unless you have uh, home insurance. So if it burns down accidentally shot somebody accidentally that person could collect i like that might need to just start the the bit do you know that business would make so much money absolutely if the it, government it still is a wild concept that a vehicle meant for transportation has so many safety precautions you need a license you need insurance correct you, you have to be a certain age but something built for killing people <laughs> <laughs> you don't need nothing for killing people. It's built for what killing animals. Oh, what do you think a bullet no, is built no, for killing ma'am. animals? No, ma'am. A bullet. <laughs> uh, 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 it's meant no. for killing animals. Uh, no, ma'am. 
and take it over okay. nations. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's built for climbing capitals. That's, that's the that's, what look, it's, that's the extreme. Yeah. It's, for, it's built, built for climbing capitals. For, for, for killing animals and taking and over nations just in case the government comes against you. Crazy. Yeah, yeah so, you know, I, I feel sorry for her as a mother. I'm a mother. I know I don't get it right all the time, and I thank God that, you know, so when I got it wrong as a parent, that I was nobody prosecuted me and no weapon made it to school. Because remember, a gun can make it, a knife can make it. A fingernail clip can make it. A nail file. You can put your your daughters you, can take your nail file and take it to school and stab another child with it. And the next thing you know, they say, "Hey, you should have known. You should have not let the child get access to the nail file. It's dangerous." You, but well, no, stop making it seem as if they bought the gun for the kid. They didn't buy the gun for the kid to go to school and kill the other people's oh, children. Well, Trust maybe they me. left that part. In out. fact, there was maybe a video of the mom say, that hey, said. Hey, don't go to school with the gun and kill the kids. Maybe they forgot to tell the kid that. Yeah, they forgot to. Or maybe they forgot to tell the kid, kid, like, you can't take this to school. The, speaking of parents that need to be held accountable, okay? <laughs> Listeners were talking about the OnlyFans model, Courtney, Cleaning, Clenny, Cleaney, whatever. Uh, I, I should be saying Courtney convicted <laughs> because convicted. her parents decided that it was smart to tamper with evidence as it pertains to the victim's laptop. Okay, so what are we talking about? According to prosecutors who have arrested her mother and father, they, at the night of the incident, were contacted. They went over to her apartment, because it looks like the murder happened at her place, found his laptop, and went on his laptop and started trying to hack into it and delete evidence. Did they have a code? That's what they were doing. So she evidently, the code. she knew something. So now the parents who were supposed to Wait, stay so out here free. So she is... She is being detained, so she's a so she she's in custody. She's in right. Custody. She's in she custody. was charged. Yeah. So she was charged. But she's charged. Her trial is and fine. her parents are now charged also. So the last check, all three of them was in jail. When the daddy said, "I would not do anything to," was that that case? It might be because he did testify at her bond hearing. Yeah. And said that he was the father who had to watch his daughter go through all these things that no father should have to watch their yeah, daughter and, go through. Um, he was like, "I wouldn't do anything," like because the the guy was like. Would you do anything to for your daughter? For your do daughter. For your daughter. Yeah. And no, and he was not like, anymore. Because <laughs> yeah, so remember, no one knew of that evidence until the prosecutors decided to seek charges against them. So how did they find out that he was? They was tampering. I have no him? idea. That's crazy. That investigation is whack. But it was the night. I don't know if there's something from his email that they were trying to. Send it to, you know what I'm saying? You know how you're trying maybe, to reset maybe, passcodes. Maybe. Um, she probably had a passcode. Based off of access. He was dead at the time when the computer was accessed. Oh, bingo. What? So it's. The boy was already deceased. Because uh -huh. so remember. It doesn't make sense. And his laptop was there. Right. I get that. But how did they find out? That they were trying to get in it? That they were, that, yeah, that the parents were trying to get in it. They probably it. put one and two together. They probably. Like figured out. Maybe they did access it. They were there. Or they, they went there that night. Or they could have just admitted that they accessed it, not knowing that that's a crime. That's true, maybe too. That, that makes the most sense. Bec or maybe it was like the family was like, um, did you guys see his computer there? Yeah, yeah. Or what about that email that he sent her? Right. And then they're like, why is he talking about emails? Why would he think an email? He, said, he told me that he sent an email. Um, to him the night of. Right. Because remember, it's the night of. Right, he, so that is I weird. I wonder how they. Yeah, parents, that parents, out. Combinations parents. That's not a good idea. That's not a good fit. If your child is in jail, no need that you're joining them. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson two. Lesson this is two. Second. <laughs> do not provide the weapon. Do not give them the weapon. And parents, do not be accessory after the and fact. Do not help them cover up the crime. Right. <laughs> crazy. That is crazy. So crazy. now, mom and dad who was supposed to be trying to get the money together for her defense, needs the money together <laughs> for their defense. <laughs> See how that works? mom and dad? Mom and dad. So were they both typing at the same hey, time? I don't know what they were. cheering the other one out? Like, do it, they do got it, the do fingerprints it, do and it, do dust it, the it, fingerprints it, and it. found mom's and dad's fingerprints wow. on that laptop. I, try this one. <laughs> get out the way. I'm going to try this one. I think he said it used to be. Yeah. So that's the problem. Ladies and gentlemen. Or maybe, you know what? Maybe, because they're dumb. Maybe the daughter, they came and do a, they did a visit, and the daughter over the phone while they were visiting was like, you got to get rid of that computer. It's go delete. That too, because a lot of people do a lot Maybe of jail, jail call conversations Maybe are recorded. I can't say, let me speak into this mic and look into that camera. 
ladies and gentlemen, listeners out there, jail calls at all jails, at all jails across America are recorded. They record your conversations. What what about Caveats. the ones when the the mirror the window is here and you on that side and I'm on this side and I'm on the telephone? Are those recorded? Too? Those are recorded, ma'am. Wow. Those are recorded. That's why they have what's called an attorney booth, because the booth has a key and only the lawyer is supposed to use that booth. Yeah. Except if you're in Fulton County, because honey, Rice Street is all. Mess. You know what? They nothing don't, works you know there. How how, you know, you're waiting for customer service and it says these calls are recorded. They do not do that. They do the tell you in the jail. They do? Yes. In fact, you can hear it. And then you hear the person say, hey, uh, no, tell. I know on the collected call. Honey, on all jail so calls. Even before when you, you even accept the call. No, no, no. I'm talking about like we're in, the, we're in the booth. You pick it up. I pick it up. They don't say it there. Oh, no, 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 no. That's you're talking about in, in jail, jail right. visit. Okay, no, no, no. It do, they, they don't, don't be like. This call is recorded. Yeah, no. Continue. Because you're in the jail. You should know. <laughs> you don't see. W- w- look around. They don't know. <laughs> All you see uh, is. Look around. Kevin Love, Susie. Yeah. Heart. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drink to that. <laughs> when you go to the jail, oh, you, you have no reasonable. Kevin ex- Love, Heart. I just. Like, that was not even intended. You get it, Kevin Hart? I wasn't just... Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> I know, Wait I just went in there. Like, I didn't... <laughs> Listen to me. There's no Team reasonable Kat. expectation of privacy at a jail. There's no... The sheriffs are there. The deputies are there. Everybody's there. They're walking around. They expect you to say something stupid, so please do Listen, not speak about I remember the case. when I was... In jail, and the sheriff was like, "Tell you me what happened." Jail? No, I was in there. Uh, and the sheriff was minute. like, wait, "And the wait sheriff was like, tell me what happened." And I was like, "Yeah, I'm not. My wife <laughs> told me not to speak to anybody." <laughs> no, it was like it was like a homegirl too. Like, so was what that happened? that part of your act, your jail act? I should do one. You got a jail act. I need okay. To do one. Our OnlyFans people. I don't think it's a good idea. Mom and dad are now in custody. That's what we're talking about. Let's speaking about custody. You know what? I wonder how she probably has enough money. If she on OnlyFans, she probably doesn't have enough. Oh, money that money is gone. Honey. That money is gone. What? Let me tell you something. Litigation expenses are high as giraffe. Because remember, but she just started. How does yeah, the money but go? remember, if you are waiting on the prosecution to give you evidence, you better be gathering evidence yourself. You understand? Some evidence you can't get to because the prosecution and the law enforcement has not released a scene. How he died? She stabbed him. Oh, this is the one where where it showed the video of her attacking him in all the elevator, the time. and they kept saying she was a victim of domestic. So violence. allegedly, what what was happening is she said he attacked her, and then she grabbed the knife and threw it like a ninja star, and it like it landed. It landed right straight spot. in his chest, and it like went through him. Went through him. Yes. And killed him. So her her throwing it like this with like the circus throw, you know? And it just <laughs> stick. How did those ballistics match up? Uh they didn't. That's why she got prosecuted. <laughs> <laughs> it was more like this. You're more like a balai sticks. That was balai. We're not gonna believe that lie. <laughs> like she she was like I'm stabbed. Where he stab her at? Where he where she where he get stabbed at? I think it was in the chest, wasn't it? Yeah, she stabbed him. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so she said she threw it and it landed. They were like, no, nah, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am, you're not that strong. Ma'am, we don't. try. Let's you. let's see you try this again. Yeah, but you <laughs> know what? He's been a victim of domestic violence for quite some time. And I don't understand why his family did not convince him that that relationship is not right for him. Mm. Because there's video after video. It's like how many times... Something was wrong with her, though, because one of the video clips that I saw, she was screaming about some allegation made by a friend. And he was like, let's call the friend. It's not true. It's not. He's trying to convince her in the video shot. It's not true. It, let's call the person. I'm not going to call them. This is crazy. She said, get Maybe your she man. has some mental health issues. And that's why you can't keep a secret. Right I'm there. not. <laughs> right there. 
right there. Because if he had heard about it, he would have bounced. You, know, you would think <laughs> that she don't be sitting here when I, you know, when I sit here. No, I'm not you, sitting she, here. You would think she doesn't sit here when I go through my soliloquy of, you know, soliloquy, soliloquy. <laughs> so long ago. So long ago. <laughs> My salute. <laughs> you know how you got to start it off strong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My then you come down. Him. That's like your song. That's my song. My salute. <laughs> um, don't tell the ops. You can tell oh, your tell loved everybody. ones. Oh, tell everybody. You can tell, tell the your family. loved ones. So when were they going to tell, tell him? The ops. <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> Soliloquy. Did I say it right that time? <laughs> Soliloquy. You say it. Let me hear you no, say I'm it. No, I'm not saying it. No, no, man. Mr. Producer, can you say it? Soliloquy. Soliloquy. Yes. I said Spell it. So S I L. Liquy. That's going to be somebody's name. Soliloquy. Liquy. What's your name? Soliloquy. Liquia. Liquy. That's psychotic. But mental health is health, and you need to get help if you need it. Speaking of getting help, don't tell nobody. Jay Z said, "Oh God, why is the Grammys matrix off? The matrix of the Grammys do not include my wife getting album of the year. How could you get fifteen Grammys?" He says at the last Grammy, which was a few days ago, and not get album of the year. It's given white privilege. You know when the white man? Are you serious? Jay Z has white privilege. No, no, no. You know when the white man? Maybe is like, money privilege. When they when the white man be like, "I didn't get that job," and it was that should have been my job. <laughs> <laughs> I was the best qualified candidate. I was the best qualified. Sir, nothing is wrong with that. Sir, sir, listen to me, sir. I agree with him, but I don't agree with how he presented it. He was being given a Grammy for. Doctor, is it Dr. Dre's award? I think it was Dr. Dre's award. The good news is Dr. Dre was still alive and in the audience, so he was like, shout out to Dr. Dre. Thank you for this award. So he tried to upstage Kanye, I see. He tried to bring back that the Kanye. That was a downstage. No, but Con Kanye did it in the middle of somebody else's award. <laughs> That's true. He, no, did, it Connie. Connie. <laughs> he did it in his award. He did it in his award. He did. He was accepting. He made his it a award. little bit more classy. And it was yeah. He tried to be a little more classy. He was like, I, I, I'm sorry, people. Beyonce should have won album bit of the year. When I'm it's, nervous, it's giving crybaby. Like she like sending out her minions to say these things that she. How would do you know say. her man? She she was looking like why? She was looking like she Kanye didn't want him did it. You not gonna do it? She didn't want him to do that. <laughs> she didn't do the Jada. Did you watch it? She yeah. She didn't do the Jada. She was more standing there like. And then Blue Ivy went up on stage with him. So she's standing there next to him like, I'm up here because mommy told me to make sure you don't say nothing crazy. <laughs> because it's just a little bit of champagne. That's all. Yeah. Hey, not like courage juice. Courage juice. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. called courage juice. It will give you courage. Let me tell you something. And we'll drink to that. Let me tell you something. If your album's not made for the people, the majority of people, then you might not win album of the year. If it's Nietzsche for a particular niche and it doesn't it doesn't reach the masses, you might not win album of the year. The Which album? The Which Lemonade, album are we speaking me, of? I'm talking about Renaissance. The Lemonade was very Afrocentric. And sour? <laughs> they was Oh, so they if you make not, it for your people, don't expect it to make no, album of the year. I, exactly. Okay. Wow. I mean, does that make it right? No. Was it a really good album? The songs that I heard, they were great. You know what I'm saying? But if you make it Nietzsche, you may not get what you want out of it. So appreciate. I think those awards are rigged anyway because it's not based on record sales. So what about what about when Michael Jackson was winning and Whitney Houston when it was rigged in? Probably. Okay. Because, <laughs> well, you know, you they, they, they don't have a at choice. At least you consistent. Hey, consistency. <laughs> Call, Call me consistency. Me and I'm going to consistently close this show, ladies and gentlemen. That's your episode of Diva Court. <laughs> you ready to go? Because I'm, I'm ready. Are we not done? Are we done or are we finished? I thought we were both. I thought she was going to tell me about Trump and what he, what those uh, Republicans you did. You really want to hear about that? I do kind of want to hear All right, listener. She wants to talk about the fact that the House, the Senate, and the shamakery continues. So, according to Mitch McConnell, his party decided that they wanted immigration reform. They wanted tighter borders. They put a bill together and worked bipartisan 
on the bill, which is going to cause people, make it harder for you to get asylum on U.S. soil. Mm -hmm. So just like we talked about here on Diva Court before, you're going to have to seek it in some of the countries that you hit before you get to the so United like States. So enforce the rule that we already had. No, we don't have that rule yet. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And that rule is you got to come here to get it. The current rule is you have to be on U.S. soil to seek it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're not going to stop where we are because okay. you make me have to come here to get it. So the rules were going to be changed, and one of the changes were... So only Mexico and, and Canada can seek asylum. <laughs> 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 Have you never heard of people coming from Guatemala to Mexico and then to the United States? No, what I'm saying is, is that in this bill, you have to be... Unless Mexico goes crazy. No, 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 no. No. It's not that just border countries can get it. It's that... If you are in a country that's not necessarily your country, but it's not the United States, you still can apply for asylum. So they were trying to tighten the borders. They wanted. Oh, I thought you. I thought that. Okay, so if you're coming from, I don't know. It's been a long time since I had to do the map of. Let's say which, Guatemala. So you're coming from Guatemala. You make it to Mexico. You. You gotta. You, you gotta stay Venezuela. out. Venezuela. I don't know. You, if that's you got to stay out. You got to. St you don't have to come to the U.S. To, you can apply for asylum right there. You can apply for asylum right there. Stop right there. You got to a country is safe. Stop right there. Oh. Apply for asylum okay, to the United so no. States from Mexico. You know what I a better deal? Is that whatever country can offer you asylum first is the country you got to apply for before you can even get to the United States. Well, the, the problem is that some of the countries that you're actually getting to first is not necessarily a non-war-torn country. So well, that's what it I'm might saying. not be as bad as your country, but it's bad. But that's what I'm saying, like. The country that can offer you asylum first. That's what I thought. Well, they all do. countries can offer you asylum as well. Well, I'm saying not that's, you not war that's not war torn. Right, but then now U.S. has to determine, and now are you discriminating? Because you're like, nah, that's not war torn. Enough. That's why I said. <laughs> that's why I said only Canadians. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How many people they kill? Nah, go back. Go back. <laughs> that's why I said only Canadians and Mexicans. Did they kill your kid? <laughs> How many kids did you lose? Nah, you got six of them. Hold on, go back, go back. When you lose, when you lose, so at what least they're saying two. is, is that stay there. And then and just apply. wait for the process. And apply and wait for the process and come through after you're vetted okay. and you've gone through all the process. But that's so, against international law, so. Right, but that's why, that's why they were trying to pass legislation to give them. So Mitch McConnell came out and he says, what's crazy about, what's crazy about the Republican Party saying this bill is going to be dead on arrival is that this is what we asked for. <laughs> and because it's an election here, Biden is going to give it to us. And we're so foolish, and the reason they're so foolish is because Donald Trump came out and said, don't you vote for that. This is an election year. Biden's going to look good. So now they're going, no thanks. No thanks to what I asked for. Would it, would it change your vote if uh, Trump passed this, like Trump passed a really great immigration bill that benefited people compared to Biden not pass it? Would that change? Let me tell you something. What Trump's second term is going to be. No, no. I'm Trump's asking. second term is going to be the tour of revenge. <laughs> no, what I'm asking you is that. He said, I'm going to be a dictator. Don't play. On day no, one. I guess I will be blowing. I will be using the Department of State as a gonna, weapon. It's not going to change I'm going to push the red button. Let it's, me tell you something. It's not going to change somebody's vote. You know who I. It's I, just. I, so you it's know like, what was crazy? We saw. Um. What's his name? Chris Christie do an interview on on Good Morning America. And Chris Christie said, let me tell you something. The first time he won presidency, he was kind of scared. He didn't know what to expect. He didn't he didn't know how this stuff works. He says, now that he knows, let me tell you all something. Play if you want to. He will be dangerous. Scare, tac scare tactics. Excuse me? It's giving me scare tactics. Oh, okay. But anyways, don't my, be afraid. my thing is, is that. Let me tell you something. That tiger out in the woods, don't be afraid of it. It don't maul people. We have dominion over all animals <laughs> according to the Bible. Why don't you go? The Bible? The Bible. The Bible. The Bible. The Bible. The Bible. The Bible. That's where I get the Bible. The Bible. According to the Bible. But, but you read the Bible. Is, is I could tell why you off because you're reading the Bible. The Bible. I'm gonna need you to stop reading the Bible. But I mean, they could they could accept it just like how they got rid of uh, your boy. Uh, I want to say Matthew McConaughey. What's his name? <laughs> Mark what is it? Mark about? Meadows. Who was the uh, chairperson? Who was the chairperson? Y'all remember the chairperson of the? Uh, not the chairperson. The. Uh, Speaker of the Speaker house. Of the house. Oh. Is that what you're looking for? I don't remember. 
<laughs> I mean, they don't do nothing. They're a party of no. Well, what I'm saying is, is that they should have, they could, nobody is going to change their vote based off of Biden signing a, a uh, immigration. That's vote. why, that's why Mitch McConnell saying y'all really stupid. Yeah. But they know that if Trump wins, he's revengeful. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I, guess. I had two Maybe people running. No, no, no. Maybe I had two people. I had two people because they know Trump gonna win. <laughs> I knew two people were running. Right, there was an incumbent and another person. They were running for judge. So I called somebody and said, "Hey, could you donate to this judge's campaign?" And the person said, "Um, can I give a dollar amount that won't be public? Because if your person don't win, the person in the seat right now is very revengeful." <laughs> I thought that was hilarious, but I mean, it was honest, yeah. but I thought it was funny Did that, that person win. No, they lost the person that you wanted to win. Yeah. lost. Okay. No, the person I wanted to win won. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it was funny because they were like, I want to, I want to support your person, but can you say who I'm uh, scared who was the person who lost? No. What County? She tried to commit suicide. So we're going to keep that. Yeah. We're going to keep though. it a secret. Cause it was meant to help. She didn't issues. take it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She didn't take it. Well, and she wasn't faking like turkey bacon. Oh, wow. So, Ooh, your like life I said, tied, you know, I probably shouldn't say this. Should I say it? Maybe you shouldn't say it. Maybe I'll say it. You're going to get sued? No. Oh, okay. But you're going to get canceled? Remember, you said you're just going to turn your phone off. Let's see when they <laughs> knock on your door. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's a... <laughs> when they knock on the no, door I'm of your house? I'm not going to say it. I'm not yeah, going to say it. Yeah, because you got kids. I'll wait till, uh, I'll, no, it's... I'll wait till after. I'll just tell you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you do that. I'll s- maybe I'll say it on the stage where I have less of an audience. I agree. Or one where the audience is not They in don't person. even know me. <laughs> they don't even know me. Who is this nut? They ain't gonna cancel me, you don't know me. Who is this nut? I'm on deep coke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on deep coke. Now now that you're done pretty much, I wanted to push in one last thing. Michael Jackson only won one. How about wow. The, uh, so if Michael Jackson only won one, S- Beyonce. I no, but I'm saying it's wild because it's it, rigged. Yeah, uh, what was it? He lost he's to never U2. had an album. You to who? To you too. Oh no. Which which album? Uh the album's name was Joshua Tree, and he was competing against Whitney Houston's Whitney album, which was a banger album. Um he was also going against Dolly Parton at that time. She lost to. And Prince, Sign of the Times. Ooh, no way. That's that when was the competition wild. was. In Heavy the hitting. words of Donald Trump, fake. Was that, what, do you think that was racism? It was rigged. Yeah, of <laughs> course it was. So, okay, what did, when did Whitney Houston win uh, album of the year? Hold on, let me let me check that out. Y'all keep talking while I figure Here's it out. Here's the man. problem, though. I think the record sales should determine. Well, she probably every, won lost. Every, against Taylor you know Swift. what? You know what could be a good one? Concert sales. Concert she sales against Taylor Swift and record sales. You don't sales. understand the pool of Taylor Swift. No, no, no. Like, she has pool. This guy played football, thought he was famous until he until started he dating met. her. Right. <laughs> then he was Taylor, like, "Oh my God, I am not. I'm not famous. Uh, I'm not, I thought I was Taylor a star. Swift. He thought he was an athlete, yeah. that a star. You know, athletes. He goes yeah. places. People are like, can I get your autograph? And yeah. he signing stuff. But he said it's another level. It's a whole different. Like he level. comes out the door and people dropping out of trees and yeah. and cameras from everywhere. I'm not saying Beyonce don't have that. But she you know ain't what? No that's Taylor not Swift good. Though. That's not good. 1994, that's Bodyguard good. original soundtrack. Oh yeah, that was hot. That if was she would have lost that, I would have said racism. That was hot. She she won that one, and uh, her competition was only Billy Joel and Sting. No way, Sting. That is a, bodyguard. No, Billy Joel and Sting is a. Let that's me a tell hard, you. Those don't, are heavy hitters. Don't play with that bodyguard. You can't I, play with the bodyguard. I I watched the movie just to hear the soundtrack. I know. <laughs> I did too. BB BB Winans was also on that. Wow. So Babyface was also in that. Right. She was going against some heavy hitters. But that was yeah. out in the park, though. Bodyguard. Yeah. That was out the park. If you went up against her on Bodyguard, you should have just said, congratulations. I'm just going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bodyguard. Let's even celebrate her tonight. Day, Let's start the party. Today, I will, day. List, I will watch the movie but for the soundtrack. Again, and it was a good movie, actually. It really was. But again, And you know what? They didn't want Kevin Costner to, to, to um, cast her. They wanted him to use someone who had acting experience. And he said no. And they said, well, Whitney, I think she was in concert or something. And they were like, Whitney is not available. And he was like, we're waiting. And he waited on her. If you hear, in fact, he spoke so eloquently. I cried like crazy when I watched the funeral Mm -hmm. because he spoke at the funeral. Mm -hmm. And he did a fantastic speech. But he said he had to wait on her because he felt like the part was was for for her. her. It was about her. He said I mean, I mean, not her. about her. But, but a singer. Like, he's singer. like... Oh, she yeah. made it about her. Yes, yeah, she did. Oh, she did. Yes, yeah, she did. Oh, and, Do- she did. and Dolly Parton came back and said, that song is no longer mine. That's yours. Yeah. 
Because I can't even she say it. She said, I made more money off of it with you singing it. So Dolly Parton did win. She did. She and, won. By the, the by the way, the album that Michael Jackson lost was bad. He lost with bad? Yeah, he lost with bad. That's, That's beat it, right? Beat it. No, bad. I'm no, bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm, I'm but I'm, no, I understand that. But it wasn't the overall uh, album called Bad. Right, so Overall Beat It is on bad, bad, right? But you Beat It's not on bad. Beat It was earlier than bad. Beat oh. It was on Thriller, if I do recall. Oh, okay. But you got to remember, no, though, what the it's, beat, the it beat should it. be based on s- ticket sales and on record sales. Well, if it's off of ticket sales, then Beyonce is not going to be Taylor Swift. I'm just saying. Ticket, she, no, no, no. She, she, if it's tickets and, and that, then you don't get the bureaucratic red tape, hypocrisy, yeah. bad. friendship. Oh yeah, bad was the way you make me feel. Speed way Demon, Liberian Girl. Ooh, oh I like Liberian. Girl. Just, just good friends. Uh, uh, another part of me, mm-hmm. Man in the Mirror. Dang. Oh my God, that was that. No, no, no. Uh, 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 that's enough notes. Okay. Thank Di- you very Dirty much. Diana. Da, da, da. <laughs> was she a pro- was she a pedophile? Allegedly. Uh, I just can't stop loving. Uh, I, don't know. I can't stop. No, that one is good too. Wait, wait, wait. He was he she, never had a bad song. Did she have? I have not heard. Mm, he's had one. What was <laughs> the bad one? I believe it was. What? Which one? Uh, I, I'm trying to remember which album it was. I think it was on. Uh, one song bad on that whole album. Not not. Uh, did not, y'all hear? Did y'all see the uh, documentary about We Are the World when they made We Are the World, and uh, one of the guys was singing a part, and Michael Jackson was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Michael because of how he is with yeah. his sound. Sound, yeah. yeah. And he knows they were singing off too because he was. Even was you know what? I think too. he he was on the spectrum when it came to um, sound. Uh huh. I think he had a an issue. He was with like, sound. I'm not hearing these flat yeah. ass notes. Yeah, he's like, I can't because he he didn't and like, it's uh, like fingernails on a chalkboard. For he him. didn't like. Um, What's what's your girl name that uh sung um um what's that one song? It's that one she she has the the funny voice. She had white girl with the cut hair. What was her what was her song? Um I can't even think about the girl name. I'm clueless. But uh Jay Z, shout out to you. You got your Grammy. Your wife didn't get an album of the year, but she got a lot of Grammys at the house. I'm sure y'all have a shelf now that you're putting them on. She got 15 this year? I don't know, but he said 15. Oh, so 15 in total. I guess. If she got 15 in one year and didn't get album of the year, then that would I be could, a problem. Then, then be a problem. I could see it, but. That would be a problem. Best, best producer, Beyonce. Best songwriter, Beyonce. Best song in anything, Beyonce. Best song because it sings well, Beyonce. But not album. But of not the year. album. <laughs> what she year. should do is put all them songs into an album, re-release it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that go. would be it. There you go. So now we gave you some ideas here on Diva Court, and we're gonna do that. We need to, to get that. paid today. We'll get paid hey, to that. Hey, we get paid. We gotta call Jay Z and say, "Hey, cut the checks. Don't take our idea for free. Stop giving them away. We gotta turn the mics off. Exactly." <laughs> Turn the mics off. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try it again. Uh, that's our episode. How you going to leave, you gonna leave work early without This permission? diva don't want to close the show oh, we can go. for no reason. Are we finished or are we done? We're both. So find us on done? Spotify. Spotify. Apple Podcasts. Apple. And Google Podcasts. Google Podcasts. Check out our videos every Wednesday when we push and push and push and real good. Real good. And as we always say here on Diva Court, when we close the show, hey, we'll, we'll drink, drink to that. that. Who got more left? Me. Always. We got to drink, drink to that. that. <laughs>